Greetings everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we will be at a new location. As you can see, today we are at Marketplace, okay? And um, as usual, we are in the uh, Sunrise Fort Lauderdale area. We have a search criteria of a 100 mile radius and we're looking for cars between the price of $300 and $1,500. All right, now <clears throat> let's uh, have a look, see at what is jumping out at us. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, now right away I see a 2002 Toyota Camry for 1400. Let's see what's going on here. All right, mm, not bad. Let's look at the big picture. All right, okay. These were not uh, my favorite Camrys. All right, these were. Uh, the Camrys that kind of took the camera from a mid-size to a full-size sedan. Um, I kind of think that the um, the cars kind of got a little bloated at this point. These are comfortable cars. My brother actually has one and he's gotten good service out of it. Um, but, you know, um, <clears throat> uh, this is the this is the transition period when, you know, when the Camry really became a, a fairly large vehicle. All right, so let's see what the description says. 2002 Toyota Camry, $1,400, driven 200,000 miles, barely broken in for, your to for a Toyota. Automatic transmission listed over a week in North Miami. Uh, let's see. Description. Works perfectly. Everything where I must need to sell it as English as possible. Must go. I have another car. I don't want to pay for insurance. Okay. Um, look, hey, 200,000 miles on a, on a 2002 Toyota Camry. Trust me, this car is barely broken in especially if it's been well maintained i would say go for it fourteen hundred dollars is nothing for a camera these days all right now <clears throat> 2012 mazda uh mazda 3 for 499 dollars i'm doubting this this is probably a typo but let's uh, let's jump right in and see what's going on with this let's look at the big picture okay all right i love these cars i uh they, they're a really a decent small car a good option for the the uh the corolla civic uh, set um this is a little bit more uh a little bit uh sportier than 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 the the others um really good deal now one of the things uh you have to look out for when you when you get into these cars is right here they do have a tendency to have a bit of rust in over the rear uh, fenders um, <clears throat> watch out for that and some of them actually have issues with the fuel pump now the fuel pump is located here underneath the rear seat however some of them do not have an easy access port so it means sometimes that the uh, tank has the fuel tank has to come down it's a laborious process if you're not doing it yourself um, <clears throat> Well, it's a labor laborious process if you, even if you're doing it yourself. But what I should have said is it's an expensive process if you're not doing it yourself. All right. So, yeah. But uh, for $499, hmm, let's see what the description says. Runs and drives okay. No leak AC. Cool. Power window. Good mile. Radio CD. Four tires. Good clean. Title in the hands. Hmm. I don't know about that 499 guys because it's saying here that a price dropped from 5495 to 499 um, not too sure about that one um, but anyway um, this is a very very decent car indeed all right uh, let's scroll down some more something interesting um, <clears throat> okay here we go a 2008 Nissan Altima it's a coupe all right so let's look at a big picture all right, so it is a coupe. These are kind of rare. Um, it would be even rarer if it had the manual. It would be nicer if it had the manual. Um, I would go for this. It's actually an automatic, as we can see here. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're a pretty straightforward car. It's going for $1,215. $1,215. That's what the description says. 2008 uh, Nissan Altima 2.5 S. Cool for sale. Only 100,000 miles. Warranty included. I lowest 900 down and you drive miss me for details All right so if this is a genuinely one genuine one thousand two hundred fifteen dollars and they want nine hundred dollars down come on guys wait the extra week and pay the full asking price and don't get yourself into that right uh if it's one thousand two hundred fifteen dollars i would say far far away all right uh okay uh this jumps right out at me um 
$1,500 for a 1998 Nissan Pathfinder. All right, let's uh, see. Let's look at the big picture. All right, let's see here. Hmm, looking like some paint, paint fade on the bonnet. Um, yeah, I mean, these Pathfinders for me, they were a retrograde step, to, to be, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> they, they weren't particularly attractive. Um, a lot of them tended to have drum brakes at the rear, which is something that turns me off completely. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you can get one at a good, decent price, watch out for the transmission. Yeah, I believe there are some transmission issues with them. Um, all right, let's uh, see here. Description. Uh, for information, call at 305, etc. Um, okay, fine. Um, 1500. Yeah, ask a little less and... Uh, you know, see what can happen. All right, scrolling, 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 scrolling. Let's look, see, let's look, see. All right, uh, 2005 Nissan Altima, uh, 2.5 S sedan, four door, 1300. Let's look at the big picture. All right, now these cars tended to have some, um, some paint fade issues, so watch out for that. Um, you know, I'm not seeing anything with this, any of anything like that with this one. Um, little engine problems here and there, you know, transmission issues here and there. Um, and, you know, they're, they're pretty, you know, I mean, run of the mill stuff. Um, I, I kind of like the design, so they're not exactly a, a snooze box. But apart from that, you know, there's nothing that I find particularly alluring. Um, but anyway, let's see what the description says. 2005 Nissan Altima with a clean title and 122,228 miles. Message me for more information. Um, 1300. Yeah, uh, why not? You know what I mean? Hey, live a little. All right. All right. Uh, hmm, look at this, guys. N uh, 2010 Dodge Charger. Okay, I'm seeing something. Let's have a look at it for $900. Um, yeah, uh, let, me, let me see something here, guys. Um, yeah, this is what I thought. Okay. $900 is a down payment. So we're not even going to waste our time with this one. And, and to be honest with you guys, I'm thinking that here with this, um, with this uh, Mazda 6 here, uh, correction, a Mazda 3 here, that's actually a down payment. I'm thinking that's what's going on there. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, as I said uh, just yesterday, you know, these are day before. The, these uh, dealers, they're getting savvy to the search criteria. And... Um, we might have to do some more work to to get ourselves um, out of you know these little scams that they're running, putting the down payment up as a pay. So you click on it, you know, it's like clickbait, you know. All right, fifteen hundred dollars for a two thousand three Honda Civic. Let's have a look. See. All right, uh, let's look at the big picture. Now I like these these uh, Civics. A friend of mine had one a few years ago, and it reeked of quality. You know, you you. You, you know, you put the indicators on, the wipers, and you felt the quality in, in the switch gear. You know, it, I, I felt like, you know, it was, you know, it was a vehicle of quality. Um, but there was a set of them that had uh, some engine issues, uh, some transmission issues. Um, some of them tended to, um, to um, <coughs> develop, I believe, um, uh, some piston failures or crank, uh, not crankshaft, uh, connecting rod failures, you know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I would take the chance because, you know, Hondas are repairable, you know. Um, as long as we're not talking too much about transmission. It's not that transmissions are, aren't repairable but, or replaceable, but who wants to get into that? But, um, yeah, some of these Civics had, uh, had some transmission issues. But let's see what's going on here. 2003 Honda Civic Titulo Limpio Corre Bien. Motor y transmisión buena, no aire, precio, cash. Hmm. All right, here's the thing. All right, it says here, uh, there's no air conditioning. That's a deal, that's a deal breaker for me. Yeah, Spanish isn't too bad. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, uh, let's see what else is out here. All right, scrolling, 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 scrolling. Oh, hmm. This guy's is interesting right here. Two thousand two Lexus ES, three hundred sedan, for thirteen hundred. Let's look at the big picture. 
right now guys <clears throat> the this uh es300 like the two like the, the camera we saw before was the point at which the the, the cars became uh moved from a mid-size to a full size that was a good thing with the es okay not so much with the camry all right um wow bam yeah we have some uh, damage there on the bumper but not a deal breaker just yet not a deal breaker um interior yeah interior looks okay pictures could be of a little better quality i would i would say uh let's jump back inside here guys All right um i'm getting the impression that this probably wasn't the best kept vehicle but yeah let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see all right um description perfecto de motor transmisión gomas detalles de pintura muy bu muy buen Gra granero lujoso si esta la publicación es porque toda okay all right tell you what um perfect mo um, engine and transmission um the rubbers are good the uh, paint is very good blah 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 so on and so forth um okay okay um let's see the translation see how good i was um okay all right good luxurious barn <laughs> okay all right guys um yeah um for 1300 i mean if you have to have it i have my my concerns that maybe it wasn't the best kept um but hey you know why not you know give it give it give it a look see you know um let me see here uh let's see here all right uh 2002 ford mustang for 1500 dollars let's see here i like these cars let's look at the big picture all right it's a convertible oh come on one picture i don't want to ask for more pictures what the heck post the bloody pictures man all right so uh, let me see automatic transmission okay car runs in drive cold ac gets you everywhere you need to go has a small pinhole and radiator easy fix all right i agree easy fix change the radiator don't fix it replace it okay they're pretty cheap you can get a radiator for circa hundred dollars and you're good to go these cars um you know they <clears throat> you know they didn't have any major problems either way you know everything is fixable repairable uh, available um yes yeah, so i'd say for fifteen hundred dollars i go right ahead man i mean this yeah not bad it would have been nice to have some more pictures you know i mean let's let's, let's be honest guys you're trying to sell a vehicle give us pictures lots of pictures lots of pictures that's why we're here on marketplace craigslist uh you know off up so that we don't have to be bothering you for anything all right we just see what we, we as much as we can here and then we give you a call when we're ready to business you know it's perfect perfectly uh the way it goes all right but guys listen this is the first time we're here on marketplace you know forgive me if i'm uh still a little touch and go with it i'm you know kind of still learning uh what's going on so guys if you like what's going on like share subscribe and guess what see you guys here soon